Hey everyone, Miss here again. Now after the success of my last Samsung video, people asked if I could do some more hot tips on how to use your Samsung Galaxy phone. So here's one of them, how to save battery. Most people would know that with the Samsung, you have different battery saver modes. Unlike many phones, there's multiple battery saver modes on the Samsung Galaxy. So if you go into your settings, you'll see there's three different power saving modes. Now these will save you lots and lots of battery if you choose the right mode for what you're doing. The problem with different battery saver modes, however, is that some apps and games, say for example, Pokemon Go, will not work properly if you have the battery saver on. For example, Adventure Sync and Pokemon Go does not work if any of the three battery saver modes are on, even in moderate. So here's three tips, my three top tips, on how to save battery without using these modes. First things first, change the brightness. The brightness sucks a lot of battery out of your phone. So if you change the different brightness settings to something that you're comfortable with, you can save a lot of battery. Next, get rid of all the apps that are active on your phone. Most people will have multiple apps running in the background. So one of the best ways you can save battery on your phone is to get rid of the multiple apps that are open and only have the ones that you need. And finally, one of the best ways to save battery is to make sure you have space available on your phone. Not only will this make your phone run a lot faster, you'll find that you'll probably save some battery too. So head on over to the Samsung app and optimize it. This little widget is super, super useful too for making sure you're always optimized. And then if all else fails, you're playing Pogo on the go or you're at a conference and you're wasting power, best thing to do is grab yourself a power bank. These things are super handy, super useful, and you'll get a couple of charges out of your phone if you buy a decent one. Hope you enjoyed these top tips from the Samsung Galaxy. Let me know if some of these will help you in the comments below. And also, if you have any tips on other things you want me to talk about, leave them in the comments, and we'll hope to see you again soon. Catch you all next time.